there, there will be nights of prayer and I engage in fasting because I have had, had a hard time to make a decision. Who am I going to follow? My tradition or the truth of God's Word? Tell you the truth, I never read any of your articles that convinces me. And also, no Adventists who came to me and convinced me. Because in fact, nakuy daghang silingan ng mga Adventists dito sa basag. Dili sila makig-argue ka na ako. Kaya ako mahilig sa argumento. Estudyante pa ko sa among seminary sa una, ang akong istambayanan ang Plaza Independencia. Kaya mahilig ko makig-debate. Ganito. So, sa dihang nagbasa ko, ang article nga una kong gibasa, nga maoy nakapakonvince ka na ako, nga wala na ako makaplagi ang kamatuuran nga akong gipangita. Kanyad to. When I opened the Wikipedia and search on the orders of the popes of the Roman Catholic Church, so akong gitanaw ang orders nila. But, what strikes me is their journal. The journal nagitaytol nila Catholic Mirror. That journal was printed on 1892, September 2, issued on September 2 and September 23. So I read the journal and I consider it as legal document from them. I photocopy it. I read. The statement says that you can read from you will read from Genesis to Revelation that not a single verse that promotes that the first day or Sunday is the day of the Lord. So ni siga kung mata. Sila na mismo ang nagingon. You can read from Genesis to Revelation and there will be no single verse that promotes the validity of the first day or Sunday as the day of the Lord. Only by virtue of the Roman Catholic Church, by virtue of her divine mission, we change the day from Saturday to Sunday. So then I said, there must be a religious fraud that happens in the church, in our church history. Because in the seminary that I engaged in, from my bachelor's degree in the seminary to my master's degree in the seminary, ang among church history is Baptist history. By the way, I've been an avid fundamental Baptist not only by birth and my growth and youthhood, but also in my seminary training and in my pulpit ministry. I'm a fundamentalist. But when I read something, I have to take a look and seriously dig deeper of it. Now I've read that legal document. So I went to search and research. Then sa ubos nga bahin ang ilang statement sa issued nila sa September 23. They said, all the Protestants who still use the first day as their day of worship are an avid followers and obedient to the Pope of Rome because the, the Pope of Rome is the one who proclaimed and changes the law. So the more nga mura nagigog kabuang sa opisina, can you imagine I've been proclaiming the gospel and doing the worship service on the first day? 
Huwag mo na gipakaon na ako sa akong mga member. Hangtod na nga to, nangatawa akong mga anak. Huwag nangatawa akong mga apo. Huwag nang dagko na ang akong mga estudyante. Huwag ang ilang mga anak na himo na pong estudyante na mo sa school. It's not an easy journey. And it's not an easy decision to make. Pag ingon dito sa journal nga the Protestants are squatters of the heritage of the Roman Catholic Church because they did not obey their master the Bible. He, whatever churches that will say that the Bible is their authority and yet still worship on Sunday, they are at most the most disobedient student of the Bible. O ang nakapanglimbarot sa akong balhibo, o ang nakahatag, o kaulaw na ako, mga igsuon mo ni siya. Sa katapusan nga statement nila sa ilang paragraph, ilang gisulti. At most, only the Seventh-day Adventists who faithfully and loyally follow their master, the Bible. Kaya bulo mo nga nung mura kong nalain, naulaw, it is because anti-Adventist ko kaniya to. But then, ang akong kalag, ang akong espiritu, dili kapahulay, sa dihang nilarga na ko sa kagayan o nag-inosara sa buntod, sa kabukiran, sa kagayan di oro sa Dansulihon. There will, there, there will be nights of prayer and I engage in fasting because I have had, had a hard time to make a decision. Who am I going to follow? My tradition or the truth of God's Word? Second, my fear. Doon ako'y mga kahadlok, mga igsoon. Number one, ang kahadlok ko sa akong familia, kay ako mismo ang nagtudlo sa akong asawa o mga anak. Unsay ilang isulti sa ako. Number two, ang akong kahadlok, kung unsay isulti sa akong kongregasyon mismo, what will they say to me? Third, ang akong fear mahitungod sa akong mga pastors nga akong girir up o akong giordain aron mahimo sa silang mga pastors sa mga simbahan nga among gi-establish unsay ilang isulti that is the struggle that i have and lastly what will my teachers say so abi ninyo mga exon It seems like life and death in the situations in my part. So what, what did I do? I fasted and submit myself to the Lord and surrender my will and my pride to the Lord. He said, this is pride. So I said, Lord, I'm going to obey you and submit myself to the light that you have showed to me. I'm not going to spend my time looking at my shoulder who is going to follow. I'm going to follow you. So I decided 2017 when I nibalik o nilugsong ko pag usap din eh late in 2017 December this same week this week there is a prophetic seminar and prophetic conference in our home church sa Cordova. Ika seventh year nila. So, they invited me. Then I told them, we are going to have a seven night of prophetic conference. Culminated Sunday pa to, panahon On Sunday. So, we invited all our Churches nga established from Danao, Liloan, then Lapu-Lapu and Cordova together. Every night, 
then I showed to them through prophecy kung asa kita o asa kami aning bahina and they found out the truth at first they were very happy then the leaders some of the leaders are silent yet they confirm that, that is true but some of our leaders confirm and they follow the scripture after the decision makings our church split upat ka pastor nga nagbulag tulo ang nagpabilin and until now for four years they are stayed with me ang pinakasakit kay usasa mga pastors nga nagbulag ang akong son-in-law but you know just recently two sabbaths ago before we came here every night kay siya missionary man din he sa Katmon every night mag video call siya sa iyang anak nga kamagulangan nine years old si Judah ya na nagdako sa amo every night iyang walihan ang iyang papa ug di gyud nako malimtan ang last nilang debate diha sa cellphone miingon ang anak pa dili ba nagingon ang Ten commandments remember the sabbath day to keep it holy nganong magsige mang kagyapon og simba sa adlaw sa domingo nga wala mana jud sa bible na amana jud sa Ten commandments so ako nagsige ko kalain ba ni gapaminaon ang anak og ang amahan nagdebate ingon sa amahan dili man good nak ingon ani ni siya o oh, tanawa gani ang Matthew 6:33 Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. That's why sa first day yun ta magsimba, ingon pa niya, O, oh, tanawa, seek ye first. Wala my first day. Day man ang giingon ako. Dili man seek ye first lang. First, rama na. So, nasya, dito ko sa loyo sa erais na. Nasya ko sa iyang argument. Ingo, Lord, kaulaw ba ani nga mag The same argument that I have before is now being brought out by my grandson to his father. And his father is my disciple. So di ba ni backfire sa ako? Kaya ako'y katudlo. Pero ang apo mo'y nag-review. My exon, this is a challenge. And so I decided, and for four years now, kung nagpasalamat ko sa ginoo, na we transfer, dito sa kagayan, and we were able to practice what is necessary thing in our Christian life na nagkulang sa among pagpangalagad sa Gino. So right now, we declare in our family and we started to practice the Sabbath and to worship the Lord and also to uphold the law and the law of health. Kay muna wala sa amo. So ang nahitabo, mga pastors nga ako, mga pag-umang kong sa kagayang diuro nga nagpastor sa dagkong mga simbahan, naminaw sila and some of them also had sympathized and some of them nag-join sa among Sabbath keeping. Well, naa sila silang mga simbahan. There will be a time that they will make that decision and sever from their congregations and make that decision to follow the Lord just like what I did. I would like to say thank you for your prayers. Thank you that there are still people who are humble, God's people, whom I called also and I understood the remnants.